Hey guys, this time I'm going to be telling you about primitives. As you can see, I've already drawn a lot of primitives on the screen. Um, they come in the forms of things like cubes, spheres, toruses, tubes, cylinders, pyramids, etc. etc. Right, now, what is a primitive? A primitive is a very simple geometric shape which you can mold into anything. You can basically start off with a certain shape and then you can turn it into, well, whatever you want to turn it into basically. For instance if you were to make say a house you could start by having this cube here then you could select this pyramid and you could drag the pyramid over onto the cube and you could manipulate them so you could change the height of it for instance to 10. It's just a matter of manipulating the properties of these shapes then to get simple other simple shapes. Anyway Right, the great thing about uh, primitive shapes is that once you draw them, you can edit them again. So you can move them simply all without using the mouse really. For instance, if I were to move, if I wanted to move this cube here in the middle of the plane there, all I have to do is to uh, change the coordinates to 0, 0, 0. Because <coughs> this point here is actually 0 going down the Z, 0 going across from the Y, and 0 going across from the X. So let's just show you how I mean. That's 0 on the X position. That's zero on the y position, and it's already zero on the z, so that's perfect there. And you can also adjust the height of this item here to, let's say, 50. And you can bring them down to 10. You can adjust them all, you can change out segments in them, though that's not really noticeable until you turn edge faces on, but more into that later. And um, all of these primitives have similar properties, except for obviously you know there are things such as the um, geosphere which have different properties to the cube for instance it has well I've converted this to an edible poly so let's just make another one and show you what I mean if you see this here you can change it you can change whether it's smooth or not like this you can base it to the pivot point so the bottom of it will be its pivot or the top you can change the shapes it uses such as the tetra the octa and the icosa the icosa links up the, links them up, they're all like joined up triangles really. The tetra is simply about three or four triangles, but obviously changing on the uh, segments, it changes the amount. And this is more like a kind of, well it looks like a, a bit like a hailstone sort of thing. And the octa. But basically just find what you think works for you. <coughs> you can get lots of great results just by using these primitive shapes. You may notice there's a teapot in there, that's also a primitive shape. And you can hide whether you want the body, the handle, the spout, the lid to show, which is really great. You can change the segments, so the more segments it has, the more polygons, but the smoother it looks. Um, I'll go into uh, why that's included later. But um, have a little rummage around with the primitive shapes. As soon as you get to know these, then I believe you're ready to move on in 3D Studio Max. But if you don't understand the basics behind primitive shapes, I don't think you'll be able to learn the basics behind anything else. So. Nail this and you'll be fine, okay?